Hello and welcome to Kellaway Park for tonight's Western League Premier Division fixture between hosts Helston Athletic and the visiting Millbrook. Changes for Helston Athletic this evening with Reese Shanley and Jackson Penhallerick in for Matty Bai and Tom Hands respectively. Elsewhere, Stuart Balker starts up front with Craig Veal, who scored once in the return fixture, but Kai Cornish, who scored two in that game, is missing this evening. Millbrook are unchanged with two goal Ricky Shepherd set to lead the line. Break again, but picked up by Helston. Ball through to Balka, pushing the back. Vociferous appeals from the Helston bench, waved away by the referee. I have to say, Tom, that that looked like a penalty. Balka had got himself free in the penalty box there, and it seemed to be a push in the back. It's one of them ones I think where we could say that we've seen them given before, but on this occasion it wasn't. Tucker. Penhalerick overlaps, plays it in. Veal using his body well. Uh, again, another decision going against Helston there. How oh, did you see that one, Gareth? Well, Helston looked dangerous going forward, Tom, in this early 10 minutes, but they don't seem to be getting the rub of the green from the from the referee. That looked a foul as well. The penalty look, the penalty appeal looked like a penalty earlier. They uh, they seem to be in the ascendancy here, Helston. Here come Helston once again. Trip Coney, headed clear. Balka making himself big. Here's Shanley. Yeah, tackles going in here, aren't they? James Morley in the Milbrook goal, just setting himself. Can't shoot from here, can he? Tucker steps up, and he does. Oh, and it's an incredible shot in the end. Well, it seemed like an audacious effort from that distance, Tom, but, but Tucker got some real power be behind it. It was a fantastic save from Morley to just tip it over the crossbar. Tucker working well again down that left-hand side. Ball comes in, field to Elliot in the middle. Elliot feeds Balka, turns his man. Oh, and it's just, just wide. So Balka got the... Uh, Balka just sort of gave up possession there, allowed Turner to run in and take the chance, and he's glanced it straight across the face of goal there. Milbrook to launch an attack now. Long ball over the top. Fantastic take. Foster inside. Oh, it just gets past Radovanovic. Shepard picks up on the other end. Finds a pass, edge of the box. Big, big effort there, charged down by Elliot. Save Radovanovic and grabs at a second attempt. Radovanovic saved there from uh, the Morecambe's effort. You've got some men on the edge of the box who are running in now, led by Josh Story. Ball comes in. Two hands, strong two hands on it, but doesn't clear. And it's in, Helston Athletic 1 0. Yeah, nothing more than Helston deserved there, really, Tom. The corner came in, they'd had a succession of corners that seemed to, call, seemed to cause James Morley some problems there. He only half punched that out, ball back in, and Stuart Balker's opened the scoring for Helston Athletic 1 0. This one to be swung back in by Lawrence Murray. Again, a long, lofted, high one. Evades everyone. There was a bit of a bit of a coming together there in the box, but no penalty given. Much to the chagrin of Millbrook. A fantastic ball over, taken down by Elliot. Great first touch. Feeds Veal. Elliot continues his run. Now comes short. Shanley. Penhalleric picks up possession. Can't beat the first man there. Shanley's first touch is a little bit off there. Back come Millbrook. Shepherd to Wood. Here comes Foster, bearing down on goal. Jewel comes across to shot by Foster. Shot again by Wood, just over the bar. Radovanovic lifted a, a glove, but just over the bar. 
Millbrook proving dangerous again. Yeah, again, same as before though, Tom. Helston give the ball away and, and Millbrook on the, on, on the break. That's where they look threatening. That's how they could score and get themselves back into this match. Two in the wall. Morley looking quite concerned in his goal. Elliot pulls away now, so it's Tucker to take. Long run up. Straight in, fantastic goal. What a goal that is, Tom, from, from Billy Tucker. It was out wide, he lined it up, and you thought, is he going to hit it? Is he going to shoot at goal? And yes, he did, finding the far corner there past Morley. 2 0 Helston. Excellent, wasn't it? Nice little run up there. He composed himself. The two man wall that uh, Morley spent a little while putting together there, obviously. Uh, didn't quite work out for them in the end. The ball sails straight over their heads, over everyone's head, over the keeper's grasp, into the top corner. Here comes Tucker again, the man of the first half. Tucker <laughs> twisting, turning. Finds Elliot on the edge of the box. Elliot feeds his midfield partner Shanley. Shanley tried to play a cute ball in, but it's picked up. Little foot in there. Milbrook now attacking. Coming over the halfway line. Here's Shepard. Quick ball out, cross in. Stories there, doesn't quite clear. Massive shouts of handball. And then a right sort of coming together. Shepard brought down. Elliot can't quite get to it that time. Shepard launches the attack. Plays a ball in for Foster. Foster with his pace collects possession. Plays a ball back to the edge of the box there. Missed clearance. Here come Milbrick again. Morka with the shot. Cannons back off the post. Yeah, Milbrook, great start from Milbrook here in the in the second half, Tom. They've raced out the traps trying to get back into this game. And Helston, really, the architects of their own downfall at times here. And, uh, Milbrook certainly threatening to cut the arrears, half the deficit. Rolls reverse. Milbrook now putting the pressure onto Helston. Ball's lost in the middle of the park. Shepherd. Whoa, and it's over the bar from Foster. Challenge from Story, shouts from the away dugout for a penalty. Nothing doing. Referee waves it away. Fantastic ball over the top here. Comes Craig Veal. Great first touch. Oh, and just, just sort of slips just at the crucial moment there, and the chance is gone. Huge let off for Millbrook there, Tom, because you got the feeling that if Helston score a third, it could be game, set and match, really. It's an old cliche in football, but the next goal in this game is going to be really, really crucial. If Millbrook can get one back, it's game on. If Helston score again, it's game over. Fantastic run forward and a great pick out. Here's Foster. Three in the box. Ball in. Wood gets on the end of it and it's, they've got to go back. Excellent cross from the left-hand side and nice diving finish there from the midfield. Yeah, nothing more than Milbrook deserve really, Tom, as well. They've, for the first 15 minutes of this second half, they've been by far the better team and they've threatened to get back into the, to the match. They have half the deficit and with half an hour left, it's game on. Fields back there making a nooses himself and wins another throw gaining yardage again taking a bit of the pressure out that's what they need to do take some pace out of the game but the ball is lost the retrieving tackle is also missed by Shanley here come Millbrook it's the substitute Mahoney and it's an equaliser ball straight across the Box there, Helston defence caught in sixes and sevens, and it is 2 2 from 2 0 down. Hel Helston have thrown away their lead, and Millbrook are level. Well, again, nothing more than Millbrook. Millbrook deserved, Tom. They've been excellent in this second half, and they are the comeback kings. They've done it already this season in the FA Cup when they came back against Saltash United, and they've done it again tonight against another Cornish side. 2 2 with 15 minutes to go, and Helston have thrown this away here, really. Looked like a bit of a foul there, but referee waves play on. Elliot bursting across the centre circle. Tucker, shot from range, deflected. 
Balkan may well get on the end of this. Veal it was in the end, who got a boot to it, but was unable to direct it goalward. Shanley now, eating up the space. Ball into the box. Header not quite cleared. Veal. Oh, and it's in. And Helston, against the odds, have retaken the lead. Totally against the runner play there, Tom, but it, it, you could tell it would only needed one chance and one ball to fall nicely for, for Helston in the box. And Ryan Turner has scored the third Helston goal in the final five minutes and has he snatched the victory here for the home side? A free kick now. Knight running in there, making himself look dangerous. Marko Radovanovic comes, clears. Oh, penalty! My goodness, so the free kick comes in, Radovanovic comes out, takes possession, but meanwhile the foul on the Millbrook attacker and the referee, Mike Halford, has pointed straight to the spot. Marko Radovanovic making himself big. Ryan Knight steps up, shoots, left footed into the bottom corner. And it's three all in added on time at the end of the second half. Well, what a finish to the game. The penalty seemed to be for a push in the box. As I said, none of the visiting teams seemed to appeal, but the referee pointed to the spot straight away. A knight, calmness personified there, set, stepped up, cool, collected, sent it into the bottom corner, sent Radovanovic the wrong way, and it's 3 3. Referee looks at his watch, story back. Whoa, story's very lucky, he gets possession back. He'd given it away there. And the time has run out. Three all at Kellaway Park. Helps an athletic race into a 2-0 lead in the first half. Deserved, I would say, as well. And then in the second half, back came Millbrook. Restoring the parity. Helston went back 3-2 ahead, and it looked like they'd won it. But for a late penalty. Put home by Ryan Knight just at the end there. And uh, we end all square.